One of the problems is with contemporary diversity in race relations, the analysis. Race tends to be black and white. Racialization is the context in which race takes place. That could be resources, that could be staffing, that could be basically the, the visualization of people's difference. Where is it located? Now, in the study of race and racialization, we have blackness, which is the way that black people function with society. But we also have whiteness. There's different types of white people, working class white people, middle class white people, there's middle class black people, working class black people. So if you pry an intersectional frame, race within the construct of race, class, culture, gender, faith is a distinguishing feature, which means that we're recognizing that both black and white people in their interactions are both sophisticated. They're equally different, but they have different outcomes, different ways of thinking, different ways of being. So applying intersectionality around diversity recognizes that black and white people are more sophisticated than just being opposed to each other, than someone who's racist or they're pro-black. Intersectionality means it's a bit more sophisticated. So you can be a black person who likes Manchester United, who likes ice skating and goes to France. But you can also be a white person who goes to the Caribbean, who likes Indian food, who's been to Egypt, but also teaches economics and business. So for me, we have to be more sophisticated because it's in that sophistication where we place more value on someone's difference and don't judge them through labeling, stereotype or implicit bias.